Here's one of my best online side hustles that helped me cover my rent. And you could turn this into a full time living if you wanted to. It costs absolutely zero to get started and you could do it from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. First, I'll show you my results. Then I'll give you the pros and cons and then I'll teach you how to do it. And you could literally start this today. This is my fiber dashboard and that's what I've produced so far. So these are actual impressions that all my jobs that I post uh, get on Fiverr and these are passive. So I just posted the job in July and this has been over the last six months. And the most popular one here has been 10,000 views and I've had a hundred clicks in six orders. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, so you can see that when I started in August, that little red orange dot means a job. So then you can see that impressions don't start to really kick in right away. So they have to be patient, but they do start to kick in. And then you can see that by after job six, I started to get a ton of impressions and this is all passive. And I'll teach you how to speed this up in the tutorial in a second. These are all the gigs that I provide and they call them gigs or services. And then the one that did the best was this one here, where I redesigned a GoDaddy website with pre-made templates. This is the one that had 10,000 views. But I also do uh, Squarespace, which is another pre-made website builder. And I got only 100 impressions there. You can see Go Wix is also very popular. It's not as popular as GoDaddy. That got me 1,000 impressions. Eight clicks, one order. So most of my orders came from uh, GoDaddy. And that's I'm going to teach you how to use the top three website builders right now. Step one, you need to choose a website builder. And my top three picks are Wix, GoDaddy, and Foursquare. GoDaddy is the absolute easiest to use, and then Foursquare is a little easier after that, and then the, it gets a little tougher with Wix, but Wix is my absolute favorite. It takes a little longer to learn, but you could use any one, so I would suggest look at all three and pick the one that you feel most comfortable with. GoDaddy is the most popular, so maybe you just wanna start with that. Then you go and open an account with GoDaddy, and you don't need to pay for anything, and you start creating websites with the website builders. And let me show you, they're pre-made templates, so you don't need to any code. So here's GoDaddy here, and what you're gonna do is just hit start for free, create your first website. We wanna build a portfolio. So when this comes up, we're gonna hit set new site, and then it'll ask you what kind of category is it. Let's say that it's gaming. So there's different categories you can choose. Just for this example, we'll use that, which we call your site, and we'll just call it you know, anything, just for, you know, it doesn't really matter right now. And then that would be the title of the site if you were doing this for a client. And there it is, boom. So now it's based on what I told it, it's kind of already done a quick suggested website. And this is where we start designing. Okay, and what you'll do is you go up to the top here and you'll select different themes. So different look, I want a different look. So you go to theme there, okay? And it says, I wanna try a new look, okay? And then there'll be all these different looks. So all these different websites you can choose from and then you go in from there. And then when you go back, you can also choose colors. You can start selecting colors and you can start specifying and making it more editing it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a couple websites for free. You just need them to be for your portfolio. You don't need them to be functional. So that would be step one. Then once you have a couple websites, you're gonna screenshot the first page so you can use them for a portfolio. Now we're gonna make the portfolio. So we're gonna move on to step two. Here's my portfolio here, and this is how you would do it. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do make it. It looks like something like this. This is what you're gonna advertise in Fiverr. Okay, you're gonna show all your website designs. Okay, that's enough of that. So I'm gonna show you how to make that right now. So you're gonna to go to Canva. Canva has a free version, and you go over and create design at the top right there. We're gonna create a video. We wanna make a video portfolio. So after you've made, done a bunch of screenshots of all your favorite websites, all you simply do is start uploading them. Over on the left here, you're gonna upload all your screenshots, okay? And then you'll just start building a simple video with this video builder, and you can, make, you can add music, and you can literally make a free video for your Fiverr gig, and it's all free. You don't need to pay for the, up, the pro version. I have the pro version, it costs about 15 bucks, but you don't need it and that'll get you started for free. By the way, if you have any of these other skills that are offered on Fiverr, feel free to go and uh, make gigs for those too. So there's tons of skills that you can offer. And what you'll do is you'll go to Fiverr, make an account, okay? And then you just post, start posting your jobs and then that's it. And then um, now to speed things up, things up. Remember, I just did this passively. I just posted it on Fiverr in July and as the jobs came up, I would take them. But you can really speed it up by actually starting a social following on YouTube and TikTok for sure. And you would post daily designs, content,